Um, in this segment, Melanie and I are going to be talking sports, actually more sports, with none other than Les Levine. Hi, Les. How are I'm you? I'm terrific. How are you? Thanks for having me. It's so good to have you on. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. What do you think, Mel? You ready to talk some sports? I am. <laughs> well, you've got two women talking sports. Yes, <laughs> yes. I talk to men mostly, and I guarantee you, you've got as good a shot yeah, as knowing no. more than okay. they do. Well, okay. you are basically Mr. Sports himself. Mm. You've been very well known, especially in the Cleveland area, and You've been in over 39 different states doing all your, your thing on radio and TV. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about some of the big things that you've accomplished? Yeah, already? the 39 states, uh, um, in, in, in doing play-by-play, -play, and I've probably done over 2,500 play-by-play events. And uh, I like to travel, and I've been fortunate. I got, got to travel to 39 different states doing them. I've got a few more I need to tick off on my list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, you, you've done, covered everything from what hockey to um, I know baseball right. football and so I hate to put you on the spot but do you have a favorite baseball baseball far and away baseball not this year so okay much. <laughs> that's right but uh, okay. I think I, I know Brad Sellers is here he'll be offended when I say this baseball is the greatest game ever invented okay yes. uh, so, so, uh, yeah, so like just too. the all-american sport right Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're Mr. Sports, and so <laughs> I want to ask you, you know, where you grew up and did this love of sports develop as a child? Yeah, I, I grew up right here in Cleveland. Okay. Uh, and uh, went to uh, Roselle School for a year or two, then Gracemont School. Then, oh. then we got, uh, then we moved, moved way on up to South Euclid. <laughs> and I okay. uh, went to school in South Euclid, graduated from Brush High, and, uh, okay. went and graduated from Ohio State. Okay. So as a, as a kid, were you like on you know sports teams? Was your did your dad push you towards sports? Yeah, yeah. I was probably the best baseball player at 11 years old in the city, and I never got better than that. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Well, now I see that you're a 34 er, 34 year old veteran of radio and television, right. and you said you graduated from Ohio State University. Right. But I noticed that your degree is in political science. Correct. And so how does political science and sports, how does that overlap? It, it, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> the degree in political science allows me to vote. So <laughs> exactly. I'll, I'll be doing that. That's but, important. <laughs> uh, I think yep. the plan was to go to law school and be senator from the state of Ohio, and that sort of got oh, derailed somewhere wow. along the line. Okay. So I got into sports because it's something uh, I always enjoyed. And uh, for all these years you're talking about, I've been able to... Um, I, they call it work, but to me it hasn't been work. Yeah. Now, do you have brothers or sisters who were also, like, involved in sports, yeah. or were you the only sports kid? No, no, no. I had a, I have an older brother and a younger brother. My older brother was a tremendous athlete. And okay. So, you know, you're always trying to, I guess you can go two ways. You can be turned off by it because he was so good, or you can try to be better than him. I never got better than him. Never got better. No. I don't know. Close. 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 Okay, <laughs> close. Yeah. Very good. Can you give everyone a highlight of, uh, now you've been to over 39 different states right. doing your, um, you know, play-by-play -play for the different sports. Can you kind of give a highlight of the places you've been or maybe something that really stood out to you, yeah. a favorite of yours? Probably the, the, the most, most fun that I had or the biggest game that I did was when uh, I did Cleveland State games for 20-some years, 23 years. Go Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just have to and when they uh, went to the NCAA tournament back in 1985 and they beat Indiana, that uh, probably, obviously, for Cleveland State's point of view, that was uh, the best time. But for my, as a broadcaster, that, that was historic, and it, it came really close um, to, to being even better. They beat Indiana, then they beat uh, St. Joseph's, and, and they came within uh, one point of, of uh, Navy with David Robinson. If they had beaten them, uh, who knows what would have happened. It would have been one of the great stories of all, all times in sports if they could have gotten another game or two under their belt. So you said, you know, that was like the greatest time probably or one of the greatest times yeah. of your career, but let's let's start talk about how you started out and and how you got to have the Les Levine show. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I, uh, I I joked that somebody called me and said we have an opening for a show called More Sports and Les Levine and you should apply for it. But that's <laughs> not quite how it happened. Uh, I started out. I got a job at a small radio station in Indiana, and I actually did. Uh, uh, I was a terrible disc jockey, but to do sports, you had to do disc jockeying news selling commercials, sweep the floor, whatever you had to do. And I, I happened to do a, a basketball game when Larry Bird was in 10th grade. I did a game of, of his, and I'd like to say that at that moment I knew he'd be one of the greatest players of all time, but I think he scored six points in that <laughs> game, so it, it didn't happen. But 
Um, I, I was like anybody else who's who's lasted or, or done something in, in radio and TV. You start at the smallest station at the smallest amount of money, but it didn't matter to me. I, I, I would have paid them to be able to do some of the things that I did. I, I got to do two or three basketball, high school basketball games a week, two or th two football games, baseball games, and you can't, that's like an extension of your education. I would have paid for it. I won't, I wouldn't tell them that then, but now right. I look back <laughs> and I would have paid for it. That's exciting. So, so after you, well, what, what kind of small markets did you work in and did you do mostly radio and, and then you yeah. are doing the television now? Yeah, I I've done, uh, did radio from uh, 1970 to 1996. Um, I, I was in station management also in, in a couple of stations in, in Akron. I was a sales manager, regional sales manager, and, but I always was able to uh, freelance doing sports and then that turned, the sports actually turned into a full-time thing I think in 1989. Okay. Now, what do you like best? Do you like talking and interacting with your listeners the best? I got a feeling maybe that's it or am I wrong? Well, that's part of it. Okay. And, and I like uh, uh, meeting uh, uh, players that, that, that I grew up ad admiring, for example, in, in a, a show coming up shortly. I'm going to have Paul Warfield on the show. And, you know, to me, this is one of the, I remember him and uh, I didn't see him when he uh, played in Warren, but I saw him at Ohio State and saw him with the Browns and Miami Dolphins and back with the Browns. And here's a guy I cheered for as a kid, and now I'm getting to meet with him and talk with him on a, a level and pretend that I know what I'm talking about. And <laughs> if I, maybe I fake it good enough that he thinks he can talk to me on that same level. So that, I really enjoy that. Okay. That's exciting. Yeah. Now, when can um, viewers watch you on your show? Yeah, my show's on Monday through Friday uh, here on NEON, which is Northeast Ohio Network of Time Warner, Channel 23 throughout Northeast Ohio. Uh, from We do it live from 6 to 7, and it's replayed at 11 o'clock. So it's on two hours per night, five nights a week. Okay. So, you know what, Les, it's really been great having you on the show. And are you, before we go, I wanted to ask you a quick question. Are you thinking about doing another show or extending your show because I think people love watching you so well, much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, um, Brett Favre apparently, uh, now there's some word that uh, he has text messaged the, uh, the top men over at uh, uh, the Green Bay Packers and uh, indicating that he might be interested in playing again. And my theory is once you cry at a press conference to announce that uh, you're retiring, you have to retire. Right? Everybody agree with that? Yeah. No question. Once you cry, that's it. I mean, you're allowed to cry. I don't have a problem with people crying at press conferences, but I just don't think you should be allowed to come back. There you have it. Uh, I, I also do work with FSN Ohio, Fox Sports Net. Okay. 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 Well, okay. thanks again. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay. And so stay with us. We'll be right back with another look.